morning, everyone. It's our last day in Vienna. Yeah, I'm kind of sad, but... I'm ready to go home. You ready to go home? I'll see my cat. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen her since last year. Yeah, I know, I deserve that. Uh, so, yeah, we've purposefully stayed in a hotel quite late because our checkout time isn't until noon. Um, and there's very little we want to do today, so we kind of was like, let's just take a slow morning. Although I woke up at 7 this morning in a panic because I remembered we forgot to check into our flight last night. And I was worried we weren't going to get seats together. But we got seats together, so it's okay. Uh, but yeah, we don't really have a lot of plans today. There's only so much of the Vienna we haven't seen that we want to see. So we're going to do that, but to be honest, it's probably only going to take a couple of hours and we've got... We're going to think we're going to start into the airport about 4.30. Yeah, probably just to not risk getting traffic. Yeah, so we're gonna have about four to four and a half hours, which I reckon is going to be hard to fill. We also don't know if there's a concierge here for us to leave our bags. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a concierge. I'm pretty sure they do as well, but like, there's a lot of things this hotel you would assume have, but doesn't have. Yeah, that's right, there's so many things. Well, I reckon we're going to be like, can we leave our bags here for a few hours while we, before we go to the airport? Yeah, sorry. And they're going to be like, no. I, s I can imagine something like that happening and that would be really, really frustrating because we can't really do anything looking around a giant suitcase. That's our morning. We've packed everything up. I'm very tired. I've got to get up even earlier tomorrow. We're never going to make it. True. You get one day at work and then you can sleep all day Saturday. <laughs> that's, that's what we've been up to so far today, just packing up our stuff and getting ready to go. Which we should probably do in the next couple minutes. Chris is engrossed in um, The Greatest Showman on mute. <laughs> We're using the TV to charge his headphones and it needs to be on, so this is, this is the situation. Have you been in the US like slots. I used to have any sort of European plug that had two UK adapters and two USBs. I don't know where it's gone. But... Oh, I bet it's in a suitcase somewhere. Probably is. Anyway, let's not crack a lack of Yeah, that's the action I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> all checked out. We were allowed to leave our bags. It's all good. I wasn't really that worried about it. They also gave us some complimentary, we think it's chocolate. We don't actually know, we haven't opened it. Some nice chocolate. But yeah, now we're just going to stroll around Vienna for a few hours, basically. Look how bright it is today. Jeez. Oh no, the sun's blocking it a bit. Well, this is a pretty church that I've been like, eyeing up for a really long time. It's always in the distance. Oh my goodness, the sun and the trees and everything's just in the way. Dang. It's big. Oh, thanks Chris. Appreciate that. Oh, there's fluff all over my camera. We found the city hall. It's coming from either my scarf or my jacket, but actually that looks like a scratch. Oh well. We found the city hall. It is wrapped in scaffolding along with the parliament buildings. But there's a ice rink. And it's got like a an ice circuit. It's pretty cool. There's the the building. But maybe we should cross over and see those buildings over there. But there's a good view of it. Uh no. We're in Volksgarten and there's all these like, they're trees with like coffee bean bags over them. I'm assuming to protect them from the cold, but like, I don't, we don't really know what they are. They look like um, trees that have been planted like in honor of someone based off of the like tags and stuff. But it's all in German, so we don't know. Chris is trying to Google it. No, doesn't say anything. No. Look how pretty this is. 
Oh yeah, that looks like a mausoleum in the middle. Kissing the frost on the ground. Oh yeah, oh dear. It is chilly. It's the Theseus oh. temple. Ew. Oh. Hmm. And then there's a statue of a naked man. Look away! Museum. Don't know what of. What did you say it was? Uh, Museum? Oh, Paprius Museum. Uh, no idea. Chris got an Oreo milkshake. So as I was saying, I think usually it's cold milkshakes because they use it with ice cream, but... It's quite cold. Maybe your hands are just... Your coat is colder. Is my coat colder? Oh. Just stopped somewhere for lunch. Still got about three odd hours to kill, so we're going to take our time in here. How is it? Oh, that's good. Is it good? Oh. What does it taste like? It tastes... I know that flavour. Why do I know that flavour? Oh, it's like whipped cream something. Whipped cream? Banoffee. Banoffee. That's what it is. That's what the yellow thing is. Oh. Right, what's the name of this tower? Danube. 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 Sounds like the Austrian version of the name Denise. D9. D9? Yeah, we've popped on a train and we're going to the Danube Tower. Which is very, very, very tall. That uh, travel pass is so handy. It really is. We should have got one at the start and just gone everywhere. I know. Now we know, eh? We, we have to remember that transport in Europe is so much better than in the UK. It's so much more convenient. More convenient, encourages less cars on the road because Austria has like no cars on the road. Less trams, I think. Like we're in the city centre and the roads are like so quiet. Once again, Britain proving itself to be the shit stain of Europe. Wow, okay. It really is though, isn't it? Yeah, but you're talking about my home country, so can you not? I'm offended. Are you though? No, it's a shit stain <laughs> in Europe. <laughs> anyway, it looks close. But I bet it's like 20 minutes away, isn't it? Uh, 20 minutes from the station, so probably about 15 minutes away. Okay. And we've just eaten and I've got a stitch. We're all good. This entire holiday. I can't <laughs> you literally eat. literally walk from like a restaurant opposite our hotel and by like the time you get to the hotel, I've got a stitch. I can't, I need to literally sit still for like an hour <laughs> before getting up and walking about. You have a bed. I have a little body, okay? Leave me alone. Café or restaurant? Oh no. This restaurant is also a café, we can have a nap show and it's a nap show. And the nap show is in the club? Or a nap show? 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 Right, the sun combined with the fog is very much affecting the view. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. You can just about make out the cathedral in the middle. Wow. It's a cute little suburban bit. But imagine living just down there. So 
Uh-huh. So that palace we were at somewhere over there. Yeah. Well that was cool. I think I really enjoyed that. That was awesome. Good way to finish finish off the day, isn't it? Yeah. So now we are going to slowly make our way back to the hotel. I think Chris wants to pop to the to a shop. And then yeah, we're ready to head to the airport. Feeling like we've conquered Vienna. More or less. Yeah, I think we did quite well. Yeah, I did too. Hello. It's been a while since we last spoke. We're now at the airport. We kind of had, you know, went straight from the tower to the supermarket to buy some bits, then back to the hotel to collect our bags and get a taxi. We all got here very fast. It's currently 5.40. Our gate info isn't until 6.20. And then our flight's not to late, so we're, we've got a lot of time to kill. We've just been having an after. Yeah, we're debating whether to go on holiday next year. We're, we're debating, you know, travel and money and all the things we want to do and can't afford. <laughs> Chris is having an existential crisis about it. Yeah. That's pretty much all that's happened. Since I last saw you, it's all been jumping from one place to the next. Hi. Classical music's playing again and it won't stop. And the second it does stop, I bet the lights are going to turn off, so... Great. Chris is half asleep, so I'll leave him alone. <laughs> we just... we just got on the plane. We'll be in London in a couple hours. Why won't I focus? I'll catch up with you when we make it to London. Sleepy. This is already asleep. We're home. Ah. It's late. We got a pizza at the airport, and we're now going to eat it and fall asleep. So I'm going to end the vlog here. But we had a really lovely couple of days in Vienna. It was super fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, would definitely recommend. Very pretty city. How would you like a no sugar, no calories, no caffeine coke? Yeah, I'd rather die as well. Drinks <laughs> Okay. Oh, we don't have any drinks inside. My parents haven't been right. Oh yeah. I mean, there's some lemonade on the floor. Yeah. In a bottle on the floor, not like in a puddle. Yeah. Okay, we get a little vlog here because we're super tired and I, I, I'm i gonna die if I don't end this vlog now I'm going to like explode. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye. 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 See you tomorrow!